What are the challenges? Well, delay is one of the biggest challenges. And if you look at it, delay is uh, buffer congestion, uh, application delay, meaning the enc encoding time it takes for the, uh, for the video, the serialization delay if you put two cabling technologies, and speed of light. So what I put here is one of these boxes, uh, one of these 10 millisecond boxes, and we need to have a round trip delay ideally within that box here, which is 10 milliseconds. And the reason is because the human vortex is actually geared towards about a 10 millisecond delay, right? Remember, we're building this internet, uh, internet of skills, which goes around the planet. Now, here's a problem, right? If I want to communicate to Paris, I have a pretty lousy network, get a bit of delay, and my uh, video encoding takes quite a bit of time. If I want to talk from London to Los Angeles, I have speed of light problems, I have uh, buffer problems, and application problems. Right, so how do we get this down to uh, the 10 milliseconds? Um, well, we need a good radio, but the biggest delays are not in the radio, as you can see, right? So you can tweak as much as you want. The big delays are somewhere else. And uh, one thing we use is what we call model-mediated AI. So we're trying to predict what the, uh, the other side is doing, and then we're trying to predict also how London would react to that, right? So we're doing prediction on both ends, and it doesn't mean we want to predict minutes ahead. We want to predict maybe hundreds of milliseconds ahead. So we're able today to stabilize system with 120 millisecond round trip time. And it's been used in the gaming industry. Um, when you play a computer game, an online game with uh, players around the world, uh, you have that feeling of immediacy. And that is because the game is predicting uh, your peers' actions, right? So that's being predicted. The graphic unit renders the game, it's being streamed to you, and you have the feeling you're really playing. And they're doing exactly that, right? A lot of prediction going on. With that, we build, beat the speed of light. Then the end-to-end -end slicing, very important, uh, from the radio to the access network, core network, transport network, tier 2, 3 uh, ISP networks, end-to-end -end slicing, uh, we are able to get that delay down. And then on the application to the side, we just don't compress, right? So the easiest way of not getting any uh, delay in compression, don't compress at all, right? So doing that all together, suddenly we're able to build not a network which works within London or a network, a local area network which works in the factory. We're able to build an internet which works from London to Los Angeles, uh, from uh, San Francisco uh, to Sydney, right? That's the trick. Every millisecond counts, and this is how we stabilize it. 